Now, everybody who's watching, let's get RBT the 1 million subscribers by Christmas. He's the best Madden scientist there is. I subscribe to him. And if you don't subscribe to, your favorite team is going to lose to the I refuse to say that team. My spidey senses just said things are about to get fucking crazy. As Jadavion Cloudy reportedly has signed with my Tennessee Titans. I'm so excited. We've been waiting all offseason for this to finally end. And apparently tonight it has. Now apparently there are some reports that said he hasn't made a final decision just yet. But dog, AJ Brown's been all excited tweeting about it. Even Adam Schefter's tweeted about it. Like, come on now. Like, if I've already said if Jadavion Clowney does not end up signing with the Titans, I'll get a picture of his face tattooed on my ball sack. Like, come on now. As a Titans fan, it makes me so excited. He feels a need that we really, really do have on defense. Pass rusher, getting stops in the backfield. He feels it perfectly. And with the loss to Jarrell Casey, all they're like kind of two completely different players. I'm so excited to bring this guy into Nashville and just solidifies the idea that we're winning the whole fucking league. Today, we are actually going to attempt to make the Tennessee Titans even better than what they currently are. Today, we're going to do a 10-minute speed rebuild of the Tennessee Titans with Jadavion Clowney on the team. We have 10 minutes, raw footage, me trading, signing, doing whatever I can to make the team as good as possible in a 10-minute span. Well, normally it's like 15 minutes or so, but because the Titans are already an 81 overall and not as bad as some of the other teams we did, I thought it would only be fair if we dropped the minutes down to 10. So 10 minutes, raw and edited trades to make this team as good as possible. If we don't get 10 wins or somehow win less than 10 wins and win the Super Bowl, I have to give away a copy of Madden 21 to one of you guys in the comment section below. And with how crazy Madden simulations are, even if I make the team very good, there's still a chance that we might not make the Super Bowl, might not make the playoffs, might not win 10 games. But you know what? I trust in me and Mr. Bubbles, Mr. Jadavion Clowney. First things first, got to go over Mr. Jadavion Clowney. And unfortunately, we actually had to make his character because, like, apparently EA Sports don't have his rights until he signs with the team. But now he's signed with the Tennessee Titans. So, like, he should be on the game very soon. But this was what his ratings were in Madden 20. 90 overall. He is going to be a monster. It's reported to be like a two-year, $24, $25 million deal. Like, obviously, it hurts our cap. Like, it's not going to be free, so it does affect our trading potential today. But he's still a monster, and this defense is going to be freaking nasty. But looking at this team, what we do need to add in this 10-minute span, I mean, to be fair, like, obviously, we already have Derek Kinner and Ryan Tannehill. We're going to keep those two for sure. But we might need to add one more solid receiver. I mean, obviously, A.J. Brown, an absolute monster for us. He hopefully will be like 85, 86 by the end of the season. Now, Corey Davis, he just was a top five pick. He just hasn't really worked out for us. We didn't even pick up his, his fifth year option. So he'll probably be a free agent at the end of the year. Doesn't mean he doesn't have talent. But I think we need to add probably one more receiver to make this offense insane. Also, Isaiah Wilson, like, he's our first-round pick, but for some reason, he's by far the worst freaking rated first-round pick in all of Madden 21. But I'll go ahead and keep him. We might replace Nate Davis, but aside from that, for the first time in a franchise rebuild this year, the offensive line's already pretty good. So maybe just add one offensive lineman. I love Jonu Smith. He's going to stay as well. So really an offense. I'm only looking at maybe bringing in one wide receiver, maybe one offensive lineman, and maybe a backup tight end. Aside from that, the offense is extremely solid. There are a few holes on defense. Maybe we can bring in a better defensive tackle than Daquan Jones. Maybe bring in a better outside linebacker than Dick Beasley. Maybe bring in one more corner, although I do think our corner depth in real life is one of the most underrated facets of our entire team. I mean, Adoree Jackson... Malcolm Butler coming off of an injury, although he's getting up there a little bit in age. Jonathan Joseph, he got signed. That signing went completely under the rug. I mean, he was like 34, but he's still a quality cornerback. And then Christian Fulton, the second round draft pick. But the only problem with Madden, like obviously ratings are the most important thing. And Christian Fulton, for some reason, only a 69 rated. He should at least be like a 70, 71. So I might end up adding one more corner. I'm probably gonna add a defensive tackle. One more outside linebacker and maybe, just maybe, add ourselves a new strong safety to the squad. And I think we should be golden and poised to make a Super Bowl run in today's video. Now, the problem is, I've noticed so far in simulations, the Titans in Madden 21, for whatever reason, never do well. 
I've seen them win no more than like eight games in the first season of a simulation. So for some reason, apparently, like Madden loves some teams, hates some teams in simulations. Like you guys have seen the Browns always make the Super Bowl when in real life, like that's the farthest thing ever from like actually being truth. So I'm kind of working against Madden here, but at the same time, I'm the Madden scientist. We have Mr. Bubbles as the head coach. What could go wrong? So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video and hopefully I don't get made to look as an absolute stinker because I mean, Jenny Dunn Clown, he's got to go to the Titans ride after everything that's came out tonight. Make sure though, if you are enjoying the speed rebuild, you guys seem like you are, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. Let me know what team you want me to do next in the comment section below subscribe if you are new because a ton of giveaways coming soon on the channel for subscribers and subscribers only also we are filling up the members only franchise if you want to become a member link in the description box below to the link to become a member the ultimate scientist and madden scientists at this point are getting guaranteed spots so you have your last chance probably this weekend and on labor day and then that's going to be probably filled by next week so if you want to join the members only franchise link in the description box below the join button or you can click the join button if you have android it's right next to the subscription button and for everybody screaming at me telling me to bring back the face cam dog i broke my camera trying to make a video the other day the lens is supposed to come in monday or tuesday so it sucks but that's how life goes sometimes it was an absolute stinker computer's been messing up full-time YouTuber, breaking my own computer, breaking my camera. It's been a fun, like, week span. But with that said, the timer is going to begin in numero dos tres. Problem is, we only have 12 mil in cap room. That could be a huge problem, and I think that's going to be a problem because the one guy I'm thinking of that I want is going to cost a lot of money. So let's shed some cap if I have the opportunity to do so. We have 10 minutes. We don't have to rush too much. But what, is there any wider, like, Corey Davis, do we go ahead and get rid of him? Like, uh, do I, I get rid of him because he's worth so much and then, like, get a better wide receiver that's cheaper? Like, right off the bat, there's one guy I kind of want is him. We'll have negative cap room. Like, do I go ahead and just freaking do this? I won't have any more cap after this. That's the one problem. So let's get rid of a little bit more if we can. I really want to bring in Vaughn. Roger Saffold is so expensive too, dog. You're like 105. This should give us, like, oh, uh, do we do this? Oh, it was declined? Okay, okay, okay. All right, I see you, Broncos. We got to make sure we use every little resource possible, though. Let's go ahead. Let's just let's just get this deal out of the way. Vic Beasley is that much? Are you psycho? I don't even want Vic. If we're going to replace him, can we just trade him here? They don't want, okay, we, we, can, we can ship him on elsewhere. Is there somebody that's lower overall that we can potentially add in this deal? Malcolm Butler, so expensive too, dog. We have so many old players on bad contracts. Oh, uh, so it's going to have to be one of those guys I was looking at a second ago. It's probably going to have to be, whoa, Adam Humphreys is 10 mil a year? Are you serious? We can't get rid of Adam Humphreys either, so we've already kind of wasted too much time on this. So who was I looking at? The, the offensive lineman, Dennis Kelly? Oh, no, like, oh, we, we, you know what? We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. We're going to get rid of Adam Humphreys really, really quick and bring in somebody else that we could use. So Adam Humphreys, what's a team that I can think of? Oh, I, come on, please want him, please want him. Colts, they do want him. Come on, come on, come on. We do need a right guard. I know I've got him plenty of times, but he fits the one offensive line position that we do need. Go ahead, submit this through. I, I, like, I don't know. Will this go through? A fourth-round draft pick? Submit it through and was declined. Let's go ahead and also add in like a second from next year or a third from next year. Well, I'm trying to be as fast as freaking possible and was declined again. All right, we got to stop messing around, dude. Already wasting way too much freaking time. Submit this through and bam. And I, I absolutely hate everything. It's already been two freaking minutes, so let's just get this one done. So third round draft pick, take that out, and then we'll add in a fifth from this year. Is that enough? Submit this through and let's welcome. Oh, I literally hate my entire existence on this freaking planet. This is taking way too long. Quentin Nelson, welcome to the squadron. Now let's go ahead and get ourselves Mr. Von Miller from the Denver Broncos. 17 mil, we're not going to hardly have any freaking cap. But you know what, we're going to have to immediately get a wide receiver after this. So Corey Davis, we're going to submit this through. And it's halfway to going through. We also can add in ourselves a second round selection from next year. Submit it through. It was the climb, but now if we add in... They don't want Trevor Simeon, do they? Oh, uh, we don't have any good backup. We have fullback. Kari, I love Kari. He's a good boy. Let's throw in a second from next year. That, that was what we had in the deal already. I'm freaking out. A second from this year. This should be enough, right? Or at least close to it. It was the climb. Okay, so now 
a sixth round draft pick, and just like that, we have filled two huge needs on the roster with Vaughn Miller, Jadavion Clowney, and the man. Who did we get? Oh, Quentin Nelson. Already freaking forgot. So now we 100% got to get ourselves at least one, maybe two wide receivers, and we have six minutes and 30 seconds to do so. So let's go ahead and see if we can find somebody that's worth a lot of money that I no longer want on this team. So we, we definitely have got to get a wide receiver. That's the number one need we have right now. Dennis Kelly, I don't want. Any of these guys that are like kind of expensive? Roger Saffel, why are you so much, you weirdo? Does anybody out there one of these want one of these two guys? Like green interest, maybe? Or is it just gonna be yellow? Oh, it's just gonna be yellow, isn't it? Okay, so Dennis Kelly, we'll try to get some half decent wide receiver for you. Like, there's no way like this. I'm just gonna see what the universe says. Yes, yeah, definitely not gonna go through. I mean, even a James Washington kind of player. I'll take you. Okay, I, I didn't expect that, but James Washington, I mean, that's a good replacement for Adam Humphreys right there, so that's solid. So who's the other one? Didn't we have one more that I'm willing to trade away? Wasn't it like a left tackle or something? Ty Sambralo? Who are you? So does anybody want him to Chargers? Chargers, they just locked up Keenan Allen earlier today, but we're obviously not going to get him. Mike Williams? How is this going to look? But dude, this game, I love it. This is the greatest game ever freaking created. We'll throw in Ty Smith as well into this deal. We only have four mil in cap. Didn't really go down. You know what? Let's just use some draft picks here. Use some draft picks. Make this team as good as possible. Not leave anything out on the table. A third from next year and a fourth from next year. Submit this through. It was accepted. So just like that, we have two beast receivers added to the team. We have A.J. Brown. We also have James Washington and Mike Williams. What a freaking wide receiver trio just like that. With also Adam Von Miller and Quentin Nelson. We also do need a defensive tackle. Who's a defensive tackle that I'm thinking of that we could possibly bring in? I, I, I know there's a couple guys that should be relatively like, not too difficult to bring in. Don Terry Poe's not one of them. Is it a, is it a, ah, I, I'm, Fletcher Cox. Are you hard to get? Oh, we have no money. That's a big, uh-oh. How much time do we have left? We currently have four minutes and 39 seconds left to go. So let's be smart about this. Isaiah Mack, maybe he's somebody who can trade away. Maybe, oh, what do we do? Do I get rid of Vic Beasley immediately? Because, like, why would I want him? Like, he's just so much money. Like, this is not worth it. Now, Fletcher Cox, like, obviously this would be huge, but I just don't even know if this is a possibility. Oh, it puts us, wait. How does that put us over the cap? Dog, I, I'm, how does that math even freaking work? Vic Beasley added into the deal? Why does the cap... So we're over the cap by 3.5 mil, but if we trade away Vic Beasley, it only goes up to four. What does that even mean? So I guess we can't get Fletcher Cox. That sucks. I think that's, I think that's just a glitch in the game. That unfortunately is going to keep us from getting a real good player on our team. Keep on moving along. The Jets only have a good tackle. Damon Harrison. But yeah, it's not going to let us afford him because the game is dumb. Dude, this game is so stupid. Like, who made this? Like, how does a billion-dollar company not do simple freaking math right, man? So let's just keep on keeping on. Um, do we go ahead and just ship on Malcolm Butler as well into a deal like this? Like the Eagles, how about this? The Eagles, they don't want Malcolm Butler, but we can maybe get another cornerback with the last three minutes we have to go. Fletcher Cox, yes, decline. I don't think we'll be able to get him. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. This is rough, stupid freaking game. The Panthers, they have Kaiwan Short. We'll have two mil in cap. I think this should be relatively easy to bring in. Do they have a safety I want too? Jeremy Chin, Trey Boston. He can play strong safety for me. Does he have anything else I'd be willing to take? Eli Apple, Dante Jackson. I'm just going to try this, see what they say. It's declined. Uh-oh. I know this is... Okay, I, I can't waste time. We're going to submit this through and go ahead and try to bring it on a cornerback elsewhere. It was accepted. Kaiwan Short, welcome to the Tennessee Titans. Maybe if I back out, it fixes itself. We now have two minutes to go. We have got to get another cornerback. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Maybe even sign one, but we only have 1.37 million cap. That's so rough. That is so freaking rough, dude. Why? Defensive tackle, Daquan Jones. He's worth 8.3 mil. What type of cornerback can we get for you or a safety? I'll definitely take a safety as well. Kyle Fuller, you're 28. Like, maybe? Oh, it's declined. We have two minutes. Dude, we have two freaking minutes to find ourselves a new corner to replace Malcolm Butler. Tredavis, like, yeah, that's just not going to work, is it? If there's, like, 30 seconds left, I'm going to go sign the best one out of free agency. Even have to cut somebody. So I'm just slowly but surely trying to find ourselves Justin Simmons? What about Kareem Jackson? He's not even hardly worth anything. And he could help, like, immediately start at safety instead of Kenny Vaccaro. Even though Kenny Vaccaro could be, like, another three or four corner for us. 
How about this straight up? They don't want up. Unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Draft picks, though. We have draft picks. So, I mean, do I do... Like, why not? We have a minute left to go. Minute 30 seconds left to go. Let's just go ahead and use every draft pick possible. It was declined. But if we throw in a crappy, I don't know. Maybe our backup safety at this point? Maybe Dane Krupshank? Submit this through. And what? Oh, it was declined again. You know what? Let's just... I, I mean, like, is it that serious, dude? Uh, Cameron Bateson. Now we add this in. It was accepted. Kareem Jackson, our new starting freaking uh, strong safety. I love it. him and Jonathan Joseph were, were teammates, I believe, in, in Houston. But we have we can't be talking about history. We have a minute left to go, and I need myself one more cornerback so I can get rid of Kenny Vaccaro, and we can also get rid of Daquan Jones. I believe is one guy that I can get rid of. Is it Daquan Jones? Now I'm getting now I'm freaking myself out. Daquan Jones, where are you at? You're a defensive tackle. I I literally have like 30 seconds to make a deal go through. And I'm starting to get very nervous. Buccaneers, do you have a cornerback we could take, please? Oh, that's just... There's got to be somebody that wants two of these guys. Somebody give me a good corner. Colts, who's your best cornerback? Colts' best cornerback, Kenny Moore. Like, uh, 40 seconds. I, I don't want Kenny Moore. But literally, at this point, I'll probably take anybody. Byron Jones. Like, there's just no way, right? Yeah, I kind of expected that. So we have 30 seconds. 30 freaking seconds, and I am having a burp and getting a little nervous. Eagles, who do they have at cornerback? Darius Slay. This is just not going to be accepted, is it? Like, I think once it gets like 15, yeah, I, I think I just need to get the next person. Like, even if he's old man. Here, Packers. 10 seconds, dude. 10 freaking seconds. Jair Alexander's not going to be a thing, is it? Oh, no. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, Falcons, do you want? Do you have any bad corner? Corner, help, 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 help. Dark West, Denard. Submit this through. And... Oh, no. That's a big oof. That's a big, big oof. We actually did not end up getting ourselves a third cornerback. That sucks. But, like, it's so annoying because this should never happen. I wasted so much time because this game can't do simple math. How do you have, like, three million cap room and add a player into a deal and trade them away that's worth, like, 10 million a year terms, like, towards your cap? And it only increase your potential cap room by, like, a half a mil. Like, that simple freaking math, a billion-dollar company can't get right. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I mean, our defense got better, obviously, but, man, there's so much more we could have done. What I do need to do is convert a few positions around. And hopefully we'll be like at least an 86 overall. We do have a lot of young players that are also going to progress throughout the season. So I, I still think we're in a very good position. Changes have been made. And we are now up to an 85 overall with an 84 offense, 87 defense. But the reason I actually have a ton of faith in this team, I mean, 84, 85 overall team is still like a top five team in the league in Madden 21 talent wise. Although it doesn't really mean anything. Like it's so weird how Sim works. Like if you have a 95 overall team and still don't make the playoffs. It's just random sometimes. But the reason I, am still confident because we have so many young players that are still going to get better overall wise throughout this season so isaiah wilson i know he's only 65 but it was our first round draft pick so he's at least got to get up to like a 70 overall by the end of the year quentin nelson he's still young he's our right guard now he'll probably be 96 97 taylor lewan still has room for growth as does john U. smith who's if he's not by like a 78 79 by the end of the year i'll be shocked obviously Derek henry's gonna go up brian Tannehill might get up to like an 81 82 A.J. Brown, James Washington, and Mike Williams, I expect all of them to get at least two to three ratings of growth just because of how young and how good they're going to be. Now, defensively, same exact thing. Rashawn Evans and Jayon Brown both should be 81, 82 by the end of the year. Harold Landry should be by like an 85. We all know Von Miller's a monster, but he's a little bit older, so he'll probably stay the same, maybe get some morale boost if we have a good year. So Davion Clowney, he's only 27, so he also could grow. Kaiwan Shore is kind of old, so he'll probably stay the same. But Daquan Jones could go up. And Jeffrey Simmons, our first-round draft pick from last year, he's an absolute monster in real life, a, a freaking younger version, literally, of Darrell Casey, the same exact player. He'll probably be, hopefully, at 83 by the end of the year. Now, Adoree Jackson also can grow a little bit. Now, Kenny Vaccaro, I moved him to our third corner because he was better than overall wide and Christian Fulton, but hopefully Christian Fulton will still grow. Jonathan Joseph is probably stalled in the 81. Like, Kevin Byard is a monster. He should get up to, like, 92, 93. And Krim Jackson, he's a little bit older, too, so he'll probably stay about the same. But there's just so much, like, youth and experience mixed in this team that I genuinely feel like this team that we have built is insane. It might not, didn't get us wide as good as I wanted it to be. I didn't get to add as many overall, like high overall players as I wanted to, especially at wide receiver. It's basically like the same overall wide receiver, maybe a few higher, but the players have so much more room for growth. 
So with that said, once again, we have to go 10 and 6, or we have to go less than 10 and 6, but still make the playoffs and win the Super Bowl. With that said, moment of freaking truth. For all I know, like with how crazy Madden Sims are, we could go anywhere from 16 and 0 to freaking 0 and 16. Literally, with how good this team is, like if it was based on talent alone, this team should easily win 10 games. But anything can happen in Madden Sim. So if this team comes out here not even making the playoffs, going like 5-11, and 11, dog, I would not be shocked. If you watch my Bucks video from the other day, you would understand exactly what I'm talking about. And if you watch all my videos, you understand why it's so crazy. You have a team like the freaking Browns win the Super Bowl every single year. It's stupid. But Week 12... Moment of truth, I really don't want to lose another freaking $70 because I've lost like $40,000 in stocks in the past like three months, so it's just not plausible for my life moving forward financially. And at the end of the day, I hate this game with a god dang passion! Who did it? Jesus Christ, dog! We went six and ten. Okay, the goddamn Jaguars. Yeah, dog, the worst team in the goddamn league. Probably the worst out team in the freaking game. Go ten and six. Is the worst team in the NFL, in my opinion. Go ten and six. This game is stupid. Let's see. The Browns probably the worst, best record in the freaking league. Oh, what a freaking shocker! Browns didn't make the Super Bowl. Jesus Christ, what a stinker EA Sports have had, dog. The Giants go 11-5. Are you freaking eating my guy dang nipple out, dude? Oh, unbelievable. Like, who did the bad stuff? We're an 87-rated team with an 87 offense, 89 defense, and yet we finished the season 6-10. and 10. How dumb this game is. You can't even get the right freaking Super Bowl number right, dude. Billion-dollar company. And like I said, Isaiah Wilson almost a, a 70. John New Smith went up. Derek Henry to a 95. AJ up. Yeah, James Washington up. Mike Williams up. The whole entire offensive line up. John New Smith, Ryan Tannehill up. Let's see the defense. Oh, Harold Landry, the entire defense is up. Aside from Von Miller and Kareem Jackson, everybody else improved. Even like 32 year old Kaiwan Short. Like, how is this game so stupid? Look at who did the bad stuff. Once again, billion dollar company can't get the right freaking Super Bowl correct. But anyways, I, I do want to look really quick. Like, wh where did we go wrong? So we had the 30th offense in the league. Are you kidding me? In the 29th defense, this game is ignorant. This is the dumbest game of all god dang time. Are you serious? Are you actually <laughs> freaking serious? Oh no, EA Sports, you've had an absolute freaking stinker. Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson top two, Lamar wins the MVP, Joe Burrow, rookie, comes in fourth. What a stinker, man. Like, I'm honestly in freaking shock. So Joe Burrow won the rookie of the year. Defensive rookie of the year goes to Kenneth Murray. Shocked to not see any actual 30-year-olds in the rookie of the year rating. Like, there always is every single freaking year. Derrick Brown wins in the NFC. Offense goes to CeeDee Lamb. Like, honestly, dog, I just don't even care anymore. Like, my life has just turned into absolute shambles. I guarantee in the Super Bowl it's going to be like the Jags and Giants or something. Like, something absolutely freaking ignorant. Like, who's going to play in Super Bowl 54? Oh, the Packers and Ravens. At least that's somewhat believable. But, man, this franchise mode, what an absolute freaking stinker. Ravens win in Super Bowl 54, which was this last year! Billion Dollar Company!